Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I have obviously already put foundation on, um, but we'll get into that. So I'm going to be trying out some of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty products that I picked up yesterday. Today is Thursday. I have a video going up today. This video that you're watching right now is it's Monday when you're watching this. So I'm going to be trying out some of the products that I picked up on Wednesday just to give you an idea so that you know get some of them. Some of the like, concealer that I'm going to try out is not going to be on sale anymore, but it's still only $9 and it's super affordable. So if you're interested in learning more about that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Tell your sister, tell your friends. Hit the notification bell so you alert when I post new videos. And keep watching. Okay, so I am still using the Tatcha Primer, which I'm still obsessed with. Um, I finally ran out of my sample. <laughs> I cracked open the big girl. I'm reusing her. I love the packaging. It's so different. But like when your hands are like slimy it's like hard to work with but it's not the end of the world i didn't screw that on right there you go that's why it wasn't working um so i did try out or not try out i decided to use the smashbox studio skin 15 hour hydrating foundation again just because i talked about it yesterday or i talked about it in my last video and i was like oh yeah i forgot i love that foundation i need to use it again um so i just whipped it out this color does oxidize but this foundation oxidizes. Um, I'm assuming all of them do because this one does. Pretty dark, so I did add a little bit of my Catrice Lightning Drops just to make it a little bit better. So right now it looks a little bit pale, but it generally dries to like my perfect shade. So I actually found my L'Oreal Infallible. Is this L'Oreal? Yeah, my L'Oreal Infallible sponge. I put it in my, my timeout drawer like months ago, and I decided to try it again. And I actually really liked it. It blended out really, really nicely. I don't know what it is. Now it's like nice and soft. I have like a weird dark stain on there, but it looks like eyeliner mascara. I don't know, but it's not coming out, so whatever. This blended out pretty nicely. It's pretty it's pretty soft. It kind of bounces back pretty fast, but not in a bad way. First things first, we are going to put on some concealer. I have the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's waterproof. I'm using it in Fair Neutral. Okay, so I'm using it in Fair Neutral. Um, I think this was like the, there might be like one lighter shade, I'm not really sure. It's $9 originally through September 8th, which by the time you see this, it'll be September 10th, so you won't even be able to do it anymore. But I have talked about it in Thursday's video, so if you're interested in trying it, go ahead and try it. Um, anyways, so this is originally $9, it's on sale for $3.80, so I picked up two. Just in case I like it. I always return it, right? So let's go ahead and try this out. It has really great reviews on Ulta Beauty, so I was like, that's super bad, right? Super moussey. It I kind of like tried it yesterday and it kind of dried down really fast, so we're gonna just do the one eye at a time. I don't really I wouldn't call this full coverage so far, but it looks nice. It blended out pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm just blending that. I'm gonna put a little bit more right here. It didn't seem like it wanted to stay for some reason. I feel like it was like pulling up my concealer, but I, that might have been my the sponge. Is that why I didn't like this sponge? I don't remember why I didn't like it. Okay, I mean it looks nice. I wouldn't call it full coverage, but it looks pretty nice. Does do I look highlighted? Maybe a little bit. You see, okay, guys, my dogs are all laying underneath me. So, yeah, not like obsessed with it so far, but it it's just so moosey, and I like that. This color might be a little bit dark for me, but there wasn't a lighter color, unfortunately, that like worked. This is fair neutral, so I was like, I just assumed it was going to be light enough. It felt really nice when I swatched it on my hand, and it like looked like the right color, but now that I'm like blending it out on my skin, okay, that highlighted pretty well. That looks nice. It feels really nice, and it blends out really nice, but I'm not going to call this full coverage. You can still see like all my dark circles, but... Let's try and cover up these other ones at least. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, that looks a lot better. Now that I like kind of got that darker outer area cleaned up. I'm on the fence about that concealer. I'm definitely gonna keep trying it. I have two of them, so I might as well. Um, and see what we think. I'm gonna go ahead and set really quick, and then we'll move on to the other new products that I have. Just to, so you know, because I was just finishing up there, but I should tell you, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. Loose powder and 05 fair to set where I put concealer. So my under eye, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. 
And this is just used to brighten up. It's such a soft powder and it just it like evens out the skin and makes it look so smooth. And I just really like it. I wasn't sure I was going to like it or not and I was afraid that it was going to be too light. Oops, I got a little bit on my nose. I didn't want to. But it's just like so perfect. And like it goes on and you're like, dang, that's really light. Like that's too light. But uh -uh, it like just melts into your skin in this way that just makes your skin look perfect. And evens out everything. I don't know. And there's no flashback. So that's nice. Look at that. Look at just like how good that looks. So I highly recommend this powder if you're interested in trying it. The next darker shade was too dark for me to set my full face, which is why I haven't tried the full face with it. But I will continue to buy this powder. Definitely. So I'm finishing up using the Coty Airspoon powder, which I showed you. Um, just to set the rest of my face. So yesterday, Wednesday, wait, what's today? Wednesday, am I supposed to be over? No. It would have been bad, they would have called me by now. Um, so I just started with Ulta. And this lady, this is my favorite thing about my belt, So This lady walked up to me and she goes, you know, we're offering um, facials at Ulta now. So it's $10. You know, we can really make a huge improvement in the way your skin looks you have for your enlarged pores. I just want to be like, man, if you're trying to get business, telling people that their skin is ugly, and pointing out their flaws is not a good way. Unless that like miss unless their tactic was to like shame someone into getting their like a facial, but all it made me want to do is toss the business card in the garbage. So I was like, thanks. Thanks, ma'am. It's really really nice of you to point out to me. So I also picked up yesterday in the sale the Hula Light Runza, which I have not tried this before. I do have the a sample of the darker one, which is too dark, so let's oh it's not the right brush. So let's go ahead and try this out to bronze this face up. I'm using the Rose Lake Wash Brush. I love this brush. I need to clean all my brushes before I go on vacation. But not like right before, I need to like use them for like three days so that they start being good again. Does anyone else have that problem? Like if you like freshly clean your brushes and they're like not as good for like a couple days? It's not weird. Anyways, I love this brush. So let's go ahead and dab in here. Let's see. Hopefully this isn't too light. mind it. It's not super dark, which I guess is the version point of the light version. I don't mind it. It's not like my favorite. Like I still love the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer better. It's just like not super overwhelming. It's kind of underwhelming. I expected a little bit more. I'm gonna keep trying it and see. I'm so used to like a much more like exciting bronzer like with the Lumi. It's like a little shimmery and just like brings life to your face. And this is just, it's a matte bronzer. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more like subdued than I'm used to. You know what I mean? Let me get that hairline, guys, so that you look all bronzed. I don't know. I don't have any idea why you do this, but I just know that it looks really nice when I do it. <laughs> it looks like a natural bronze. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. A little caper. Just bronze the neck. I've got a little bit high up on this cheek, but it's not too bad. Just trying to blend that down a little bit. Okay, thumbs up. I'm just using the CoverGirl Cheekers 148 in Natural Rose. Which you'll, if you've watched my videos, you'll know this is what my husband got me when he bought my makeup. Still one of my favorite blushes. I wish the packaging wasn't so cheap. It's just like so flimsy. This is the Morphe E4 brush. It's, just, it's like an angled brush. But I love for blush. Okay, it's just like the most perfect, subtle, it's like a peachy color. Ooh, ooh, love it. I don't have a new highlighter. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so I picked up the Ulta Beauty Metallic Cream Eyeshadow. I know this is really weird, but I'm going to try it. I tried it in my last video, if you, if you saw it. My hair is crazy, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I'm gonna put this on as my highlighter. It's a liquid eyeshadow, and it's like it's called Pretty in Pink, and it's like a champagne pink color, which I am obsessed with. And it is blinding. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Can you blend it out? Oh, it's not blended. It's just gorgeous. It's like a pink. It's just so nice. So it does have some glitter in it, shimmery glimmer glitter. It's pretty big. It's not like super big, but it's like they're obvious. Like you can kind of see them if you get a little heavy-handed. So I'm just gonna take some on my finger, and you gotta be quick, guys. Look at that. Isn't that so nice? It's just like it's like subtle, but also like super blinding if you catch it in the right light. Yeah. Yeah. This is eight dollars and fifty cents. I know it's a, a eyeshadow, but I saw it and I was like, I want that to be a highlight. Gotta move quick though. I just use all three of my fingers. I hope someone else tries this because I'm sure someone else has used this before, but I feel it's so cool and like innovative using this as my highlight. So next we're gonna try a new eyebrow pencil. Um, if you watched my Thursday video, you know I bought five because I basically got two of them for free because of what all the other stuff that I bought. So we're gonna try this out. It's the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I got three in blonde and two in ash taupe, which are just a little bit darker. The blonde is definitely a cool tone and the ash taupe is a little bit more warm. But okay, so I did like try it out on my hand, but look how much you get. You see that? It's insane. So much. These retail for $10, but on week three of 21 Days of Beauty, you can get them for $5. So keep that in mind. So I figured I would get them, try them out for you guys, and then that way you know if you want to buy them. Does that make sense? This is such a sacrifice, you guys. Okay, so I was just looking at my face, like, close up in this mirror that I just cleaned. And I know it's, it has to be this, this sponge. Like, my face just looks really not good. I'm really disappointed. But like it just like accentuated all my pores for some reason and I you've been using the Tatcha using the Tatcha primer and haven't been having an issue so I don't know what happened here but let's try out our eyebrow pencils. Just brushing out my eyebrows. I'll just do one for you so you can get an idea. I don't like the spoolie, it's like that thin spoolie that just useless. Ah, whatever. Okay. I think and these are like pretty waxy, at least from when I tried them out at the store, which is how they should be. I hope this isn't too light. And the cashiers when I was checking out, two different girls were like, that's our favorite eyebrow pencil. So I don't know if they were just saying that because like they work for Ulta and this is an Ulta product. But I like to think that they wouldn't lie about it. You know what I mean? Don't do me dirty, girls. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, I'm, this is like a perfect color. It like matches my hair. Well, I mean like not matches, but it's like the, like the right shade, the right undertone. Which I like to do like a cooler eyebrow. I know like I have like a warmer toned hair, but like my skin is like neutral cool. This is why I do a more cool toned eyebrow. It just looks more natural on me for some reason. I don't know what it is about when I do like a warm undertone brow product. But my eyebrows just look very like harsh and like not not good. I'm gonna highlight you guys. That's eyeshadow. I like the brow product so far. You can check back my last video, I talked about the reviews. Look at that. It's like such a good color and it's like waxy, but not like so waxy that it's like yanking my eyebrow hairs out, which I do appreciate that. So I'm gonna keep using this. I'm excited. It didn't take that much to even fill that in. So I'm not gonna, I'll try a darker one later on, just that I just bought them as like backup, mostly because there were only three other blondes, but. There's like a shade in between them, but it was just taupe, and that one on my skin tone looked super green, which was weird, but I don't know. That looks so good. Okay, let me do my other one. Wow, guys, this eyebrow pencil, it's kind of pricey for at $10, but like if this lasts like a decent amount of time, I'm loving the formula. It's like a waxy, but I cannot get over how bad my skin looks right now, you guys. 
think it's the sponge. It has to be the sponge because I've never had an issue like this before with my with the stash box. So it's got to be the sponge. And I gave it another shot and I'm over it. Okay, this eyebrow pencil is $10. I'm going to stock up later in the week or like later in the month. About five bucks? I'm just going to buy out all the blondes that they have. They weren't kidding when I'm a, I, I can't. What do we do now? Let's use a little bit of this eyeshadow on my eyes. I wonder if I could do like a smoky eye with it, like not anything crazy obviously, but let's just, mm, I can't decide what I want to do, you guys. Um, oh yeah, this is, let's use this one. This is one I used yesterday, I tried it. This is just an elf brush. It doesn't have any labels on it. It's just a little small brush that I love. I want to put this a little bit on my eyelid. It's a liquid, but it should work fine. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it either, so. I'm going to use a little bit of this um, elf smudge brush it's just like a really like dense little brush that i used to like smudge your eyeliner i'm gonna put a little bit under my eyelash bottom eyelashes too just like a little like shimmery smoky kind of eye just like that oh okay i got a little crazy i just like took it out a little too far over here but it looks i mean it looks fine it's just not my favorite Definitely going to be using this as a highlighter, probably not so much as an eyeshadow. Oh well. I'm still really loving this concealer. It looks really nice and it's just like, looks really clean and like, I like it. So I'm excited to try it with a different sponge if it doesn't know. I'm going to go finish up my eyes and then I'll be right back to show you the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, let's zoom in a second. So, I'm not super... I'm not super thrilled with the sponge. It has to be the sponge because I've not had an issue with, okay, it has to be the sponge because I have not had this issue with this other products, which I've used a concealer before, but this is like an all over problem, not just under my eyes, which is not even bad under my eyes, but like, I just see all my texture like in here and it just, I just look like I look a little dirty and then it just bothers me, but I'm just gonna go to at home, which I don't know if you've been there before. I've never been. I'm really excited. They opened one. I don't even know how long ago in my area. So I'm excited to go try it out. But I like the eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow for highlight, but not so much for an eyeshadow. Just doesn't blend very well. I'm obsessed with eye eyebrow pencils. Like definitely check those out. I'll keep wearing them. I'll let you know like if it's worth the ten dollars alone, the five dollar deal. Like, yeah. So yeah, this lip color is the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Caron in 800. It's just like a peachy color and it's just my perfect shade. And I like it a lot. So, yeah, you'll see me wearing this a lot. But that's all. Oh, mascara. I'm wearing the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. Look at this wand. Is that not massive? Let's see, so this is like a normal size spoolie. You see that? struggling so that's like a normal size spoolie and this mascara wand like it's so fluffy and it literally just like makes your eyelashes look perfect it feels like really cheap packaging it's only five dollars it's not waterproof which really bothers me but i like it a lot that was really loud sorry so yes that is what i have for you today Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, tell your sisters, tell your friends, hit that notification bell so you can alert when I post new videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, and that's all I have. Definitely check out my Instagram on the daily. No, don't say that. Definitely check out my Instagram daily just so you can see what deals are going on today. And I can't wait to see you till next time. Is that the right expression? Anyways, until next time, guys. Bye.